Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way to pick up something kind of exciting, something I've been wanting for a little while. It's not a cab. Still working on the uh, finance committee as Tractor Time with Tim would say on that one. Um, but I gotta go, usually my tractor supply would have it in stock. I checked this morning, they don't have it in stock. So I gotta go up to the uh, I gotta drive about 15 minutes down the road to the uh, next tractor supply over and they've got one in stock so stay tuned and uh, I'll show you when I get there what I'm getting. Just got back from tractor supply I had to make one more little pit stop also so here it is in the back of the truck it is the country line tiller and I had to stop at the uh, Bobcat dealer and I picked up a set of light duty pallet forks also. We're going to get this unloaded and start putting the tiller together. Okay guys, I needed to um, put the back on because I think I'm gonna need as much rear ballast as I can get because this uh, Land Pride tiller, or not Land Pride, I'm sorry, it's Country Line tiller from Tractor Supply weighs, weighs in it, I think it was 695 pounds. I have it up on my phone, let me look real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 591 pounds. Plus, there's some steel that it's in the crate that it shipped in. Um, plus, I'll have the pallet forks. So, I'm gonna, I needed the back on to get as much rear ballast as I possibly could. So, let's go take a look at how we're gonna tackle this. So, I had them load the forks. Kind of hard to see with the shadow. Um, had them load the forks underneath it, but there's these lifting lugs or these this pipe right here and right here. So one set of forks goes under that, and then there's the same on the other side. So what I'm going to do first is get these forks out of here, and then get them adjusted so that I can get underneath these two lifting points, and we'll see if we can get it out. at a little bit different of an angle than the tractor. You know, that side's down a little bit, this side's up. I need to get a little bit of 
bit more square so that I can get. It's just tight enough to where it hits right here. Don't go all the way. Here's where we're at. We got it slid back onto that, slid back onto that. All points are looking good. Now just setting it down slowly is going to be the tricky part, I think. Let's see if we can do it. Okay guys, <laughs> that was pretty nerve wracking. Um, the Kubota did it, Drakey was drumming, he didn't get to see it, but that, it was pretty sketchy. So the pallet forks are just a little bit too wide. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to grind off a little bit right here and over there. Um, but they performed pretty well.
All right, fellas. I'm not proud of myself. I'm not proud of the amount of cuss words that I might have said trying to get this PTO shaft to work. But I think I finally got it. 